Donald Trump always tries to use language to his advantage, right? He repeats phrases all the time and he says weird, obscure things that make it kind of hard to fact check him. A lot of mental health professionals think some of this could actually be signs of something like dementia, but it could be something far less sinister than that. That actually leads me to another viewer question here. This is from uh, NIA MEK 127 that says, I'm curious, did people notice that Trump always says like nobody has ever seen before, never has been done before and wildly exaggerates claims. I don't recall you mentioning this specific thing in your videos covering Trump's speech. Someone saying this all the time is a red flag for me and can't believe he gets a pass in politics. Now you're right. Okay. Uh, not necessarily about me never talking about that. I've mentioned it when I talk about his quotes sometimes, but I haven't hammered on the fact that he does repeat those statements all the time. And again, I have talked about the mental health professionals, uh, you know, ad nauseum here who tell us that Donald Trump's constant reliance on the same phrases over and over and over could not is, but could be a sign of serious cognitive decline. But at the same time, they're mostly talking about when he goes out there and says, Oh yes, here we are. We are here. And here we are. They're talking about things like that. Not necessarily the phrases when Trump says like nobody's seen before, never has this happened. This is a first for humanity. I don't think those are signs of cognitive decline. I think one, when Trump says those things, it's always an indication that whatever he said before or after it, usually both is a total lie. Just like what do you say? Many people say that blah, blah, blah. He uses it to cover up for something he wants to say that again is normally always a lie, but it's not just that he uses it as a cover for his lies. He also uses it to make himself sound better. Even with regard, by the way, to the criminal trial, he goes out there and says, this has never been done before. It's like, Hey, I know bad things are happening to me, but nobody's ever had these bad things happen to them. It's just me. That's how special I am. I'm the only one that gets targeted with this stuff because I'm a little special. That's his ego. That's his narcissism. That's why it's so insane when he says things like that, like he's actually bragging. These charges have never been brought before. It's just me. I'm the only guy that did it. It's like, okay, well maybe that means you're the only guy that committed that crime. Now, I don't know, but it's a combination of the lies, a combination of trying to make himself sound better and more important than he actually is. And I do believe in some instances, maybe not with the phrases you brought up, but other phrases that he repeats, you know, throughout a, a speech, I do think it's a sign of cognitive decline because what he's doing a lot of those times too, and this is the cognitive decline part is he's looking for the other words to say, you get so caught up in what you're saying that what you're saying kind of catches you up and you can see like his head's trying to find the next statement, but it can't. So it's just replaying the previous one on a loop. That's could be a sign of decline. It could just be that maybe he's not a fast speaker anymore, whatever it is. It's definitely not good because all of those options, the lies, the ego, the mental uh, problems, they're all things that we don't want in a person that wants to get back in the white house.